بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ان شاء الله today we will continue our lectures about dental anatomy at a glance and today we are going to talk about the permanent maxillary first premolar we will start with the landmarks and the mesial aspect as you can see we will start from lingual to buccal from lingual we can see the lingual root the cervical line the mesial marginal developmental groove and the lingual cusp now we will shift to the buccal side we can see a buccal cusp this is the buccal cusp which is longer than the lingual cusp we will talk about that and the mesial contact area you can see that we said contact area not a contact point and we will talk about that uh, too the buccal cervical ridge and most importantly from a mesial aspect we can see the mesial developmental depression this is the mesial developmental depression and it is a very important depression to distinguish between the maxillary first premolar and the maxillary second premolar of course the permanent ones and the last one is the buccal root now from a occlusal aspect from an occlusal not a, an occlusal aspect we can see this is the occlusal aspect we have of course this is buccally and this is lingually mesial and distal we have four cusp ridges which are which oh, two of them located buccally and two of them located lingually the buccal ones are the mesio buccal cusp ridge and the distal buccal cusp ridge the lingual ones are the mesiolingual cusp ridge and the distal lingual cusp ridge we have two marginal ridges which are the mesial marginal ridge and the distal marginal ridge and we have two triangular fossa which are the mesial triangular fossa and the distal triangular fossa and finally we have the central developmental groove as you can see on this picture without uh, any uh, landmarks we can see this is the buccal cusp this is the lingual cusp this is the mesial buccal cusp ridge the distal buccal cusp ridge the mesial lingual cusp ridge and the distal lingual cusp ridge this is the mesial marginal ridge and the distal marginal ridge this is the central groove and the mesial triangular fossa and the distal triangular fossa so these are the landmarks from an occlusal aspect now we will shift to some of the most important features to note about the maxillary the permanent maxillary first premolar the first note is that the buccal cusp is usually about one millimeter longer than the lingual cusp as you can see in this in, the, in this picture this is the buccal cusp and this is the lingual cusp the buccal cusp is longer by one millimeter than the lingual cusp and uh, this is one of the differences from the maxilla second premolar and we will talk about that in, uh, in a separate video inshallah the other important feature to note is if the buccal cusp form has not been changed by wear the mesial slope of the cusp is longer than the distal slope so this is mesial and this is distal the mesial slope if not changed by wear the mesial slope is going to be longer than the distal slope this is the distal slope and to another note the most most of the maxillary first premolars have two roots and two pulp canals okay this these are two roots and two pulp canals when only one root is present like in this case two pulp canals are usually found anyway so even if there is one root mostly there are two pulp canals now about what we mentioned earlier about the contact area not the contact point the maxillary first premolar has a broader contact area 
and the contact area more nearly at the same level. So the mesial contact area and the distal contact area located in the middle third. Now to the last note from an occlusal aspect, the maxillary face premolar is uh, hexagonal in shape because we said there is mesial, distal, and the lingual and the buccal are divided into mesio buccal, distal buccal, and mesio lingual and distal lingual. So it is a hexagonal in shape from occlusal aspect. Thank you for watching and inshallah we will meet in the next video uh, about the maxillary second premolar. Fiamanla.